Alrighty, everybody. Hello, welcome back to another episode of Kona with me, Comrade Cryptid. Uh, hope everybody had a good holiday. I know I had a good holiday. I missed that holiday. Um, but yeah, today, uh, just a heads up, uh, the recording's probably going to be a little weird. I'm making dinner and I'm recording in the kitchen and I have a puppy dog with me, so there might be some weird noises, but, uh, yeah. In the, in the spirit of, uh, getting in the holiday spirit, I'm having a beer. I guess we're just gonna see what's what. Go on our merry way. So where the hell are we? Uh, that's right, we're at the Blay House. Maybe we should go to Old Rosaire, Bruin or La Malte. Cause so far, we still don't have we still don't have a coat that we can use to go on the hiking trail because we're gonna need a coat for the hiking trail. So off we go, I suppose. So yeah. So like I said, I hope everybody had a turn that on. Had a good. Uh, Good holiday, or uh, you know, if you didn't have a holiday, uh, hope you at least got some good. Uh, uh, good Black Friday, good Black Friday uh, deals. You know, we love some consumerism. Not actually, but you know, it's, sometimes you can get a good deal. Sometimes you can't. Whatever. And that's why you don't drink and drive. Uh, uh, darkness. So yeah, we're gonna go check out these other houses, maybe they'll at least have something we can scavenge. Uh, hopefully. Jesus. Whoa, my banana. Another person? 
Je m'attendais pas à ce qu'un étrange retentisse par ici. Moi te dire, je prends plus de chance depuis que ça rôde dans ce bout-là. J'ai ma carabine au bout du doigt, et puis bang, 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 si ça s'approche. <rire> you said it, buddy. Uh, I'm gonna... I was startled by that. Uh, I'm gonna take a second real quick and put... Uh, put some vegetables in the oven. Okay, sorry about that, guys. But, you know, like I said, I, I'm trying to do this while making dinner also. So, can I... Oye, oye, oye! Y'a un petit gars d'écarté dans ma maison! You're a very strange man. Um... Going to Tales and Legends. Vois-tu le livre là? C'est le Wendigo. Ouais, le Wendigo. Oh. Un guerrier qui devient un loup pour se venger de sa grosse peine. Et... Ok, so. A Wendigo. Is the monster a Wendigo? Did someone actually make a Wendigo and place it in like a proper ge geographic context? Uh, there was a time when. Hate waged ouais, war. No, I don't have anything better to do, man. Alright, well, apparently he's not a ch chatty Cathy. Go, uh... moi la belle rose la tulipe. Qui se donne au yob sur le mercredi des sangs. Si tu peux effrayer ce que je dois aller. Indeed, quite terrible. Can I steal your coat? C'est vrai, le jeune, que tu te promènes quasiment à bobette. Une bonne police, ça te pas de tort. Mais je vais te dire une chose. Dans ton coin de pays comme Paris 7, on n'a rien sans rien. Et où, mon caribou? You need a caribou? Si tu veux du lait chaud, parce que t'es habillé comme un gars de la ville, je dirais pas non à une bonne bouteille de caribou. Et uh... tu pigeras ce que tu voudras parmi mes guenilles. <rire> What's uh, whiskey? All right. Okay. Clearly, he's a drinker. It's encore beau. Tout ce qui est vieilli est bien meilleur. Indeed, indeed, they are better when they're old. Okay. So, old Rosaire here would like some whiskey, uh, and then he'll give us a coat. Hey, la Corivo, Batèche, ça te passe l'envie de te marier, la Corivo. A tué tous ces maris, squeak, les uns après les autres. Pas de pitié dans le mariage. Ok. So. I'm gonna. Ok, I don't speak. Uh, I don't read French. D'apparence que mon Corivo tarde. I, I know, buddy, I know. Time when we w hate waged war, our hunters decimated the great wolves who had taken our children and our warriors would snap the necks of cowards who had reached for our supplies. The deafening sound of rock and bone breaking was enough to satiate the hate, and the rivers of blood would express our remorse and apologies. Thus was balance maintained. Then came the white. Tu marches, tu marches, tu marches. Tu sens les pieds. <laughs> Uh, the legend of the Wendigo dates back to a time before what anyone but the tallest trees can remember. A time of great cold, great aspirations. Ships came and spewed men in their fire cannons, plagues and spinelessness. Balance broke forever. The dead were piling up on our ancestral lands. Too many bodies covered oh in Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah! There's a guy in my house! A young warrior lost everything. You know, I mean, I already kind of know the... Well, you know, for those of you who don't know, the, you know, Wendigo, Old El... El ouais, old Algonquin legend. Uh, most of the time I've, I've heard that it's, uh, like a, you know, a hunter or somebody who, uh, you know, due to uh, hunger, maybe uh, resorted to cannibalism and then became, you know, an insatiable cannibal. Which is, you know, always fun. We love a fire starter. 
Why was it in the trash? Who the hell is putting their fire starters in the trash? And we don't have a lock for that. Alright, so. I don't suppose. Fire starter, painkiller, steak, I got beer. Let's get back in the old idler. There Carl had fed his mind, but had forgotten the harsh reality that his body also needed nourishment, especially in the dead of winter. Me. Be nice. Sorry, guys. That was uh, Remy, my girlfriend's dog. Sometimes he sees people outside and he, he just wants to say hi. Oh, don't you, Remy? Don't you? Oh, okay. There's a truck here. those weird caribou tracks go. Shitter? Uh, there's some cigarettes in the shitter. I'll take some cigarettes. You know, we're a good, you know, French Canadian man. We we like our cigarettes. Uh, that might be a uh, cultural. 
cultural stereotype I have there, but it, it's probably also not wrong. The place looked more like a pigsty than a house. A heavy stench of curdled milk, cheap alcohol, and boiled cauliflower filled the air. Well, cheap alcohol gives me hope that there might be a bottle of whiskey here. And... Start the fire. Back then, in Africa and elsewhere, people were ready to take up arms to stand against the yoke of English imperialism. In Montreal, mailboxes were blown up, abductions were carried out, and violent manifestos were distributed to media outlets. But around here, in the great northernmost, all a man could do is curse out loud against the faraway evil and pray for the revolution to arise. That man, by any reckoning, was from that very stock. Mm, you know, Quebec liberation. I mean, liberation for all peoples and all that, you know, for sure. But, although, you know, at the same time, you know, the Quebec... Quebecois are, you know, sort of colonizers in their own right. Obviously not quite as bad as the English, but you know, it's, it's a little something something. <laughs> what? That's a good question. had to be out of your mind to cook up white whiskey at home. The all-surrounding stench of alcohol alone was probably enough to gas a man to death. I don't think it's really that bad, but, you know. What the fuck do you need? Do you need, uh... Cork, maybe? right away that the owner of this place wasn't a copper collector. No, this was a junk man's base of operations. The guy definitely seemed like quite the expert in scavenging scrap metal, with or without permission, surely. Oh, surely. In the right hands, red metal could sell like hotcakes. Oh. Ray Jean Bluin. Seems like that pig had a name after all. Indeed. Rock music invaded the minds of men even in the remotest of places. The man didn't own a turntable though, so there's that going for him. Apparently old Carl over here doesn't like uh doesn't like rock music. Or at least the narrator doesn't. Is there Friggin... What do we need? Right. The rag reeked of fermented vomit. Gross. Carl wondered how one could bear to live in such gross and horrid conditions. Very gross. Wait. Carl now knew how to quench the drunkard's thirst. Too much is for added melanus. Oh, so we need cherry wine. Some uh, cocktail recipes, you know, because it's very hard to make a a gin fizz or a Long Island. But I guess it's the 70s. Long Islands are probably pretty new. Um,
Ow. You had to be out of your mind to cook up white whiskey right. at home. The all-surrounding stench of alcohol alone was probably enough to gas a man to death. Okay, so we need sherry. Who the hell has sherry? Also... With a homemade shooting range such as this, it wasn't hard to imagine a stray bullet ending its course inside the flesh of an unsuspecting passerby. Indeed. Granted, Carl thought, there wasn't much in the way of passersby around here. Too shabby. Carl felt he needed to protect himself. That truck had obviously seen its share of gravel roads. Carl wasn't a mechanic, but he could easily tell that only the most heartfelt prayer would bring this old beater back from its slumber. With that cold, however, it was more likely that it would wait until next spring to wake up. If Carl had at any point wished to get his hands on some caribou, he couldn't have wished for better than a distillery like this one. Indeed. <sighs> Let me see. Where's...
caribou tracks going up that way. But I still don't have like a good It was so cold. Already Carl did not feel his toes right, anymore. And then the car, get in the car. Alright, I'm gonna toss around my vegetables real quick. Alright, and we're back. Um, so, let's see. So we just came from the Whiskey House. We're gonna go all the way down. Let's see. Sometimes, and especially around here, people are so possessive with their land, as a dog is with hydrants. Indeed. We love to kiss on our land. Ooh. Leather from the month. Spark bug. Olympic ski do. One was very popular. to could find her in the park as quickly as usual. Thank you for choosing the garage. Okay. Interesting. Like we're gonna have a vision in there. Let me see. Je ne sais sur ce replo chien. Something cold turned into pain. Carl needed to find someplace warm. Yeah, we're working on it, Carl. All right. We're indoors. We're indoors. Apparently, this. Oh, there it is. I was gonna say we're in the. Oh shit. Gotta be... Oh, Jesus. 
got to be uh, a wood pile around here somewhere, right? Okay, Carl. Okay. You're Canadian. Come on. You can, you can handle this. Oh, there's a wood pile. There's a wood pile staring me right in the face. Alright, alright. Close that up. We're gonna warm this puppy. There you go. Alright, we're gonna warm our ass by the fire. That's much better. Much, much better. Okay. I was getting a little cold there. Police letter. Dear Mr. Lebron. Roswell. At Amipec. Same story. Large deserts conducive to extravagant follies. Following your... Following your complaint, I'm afraid that the police cannot support your claim alleging the sudden appearance of a man who came from outer space on your village's territory. Manifestly, what happened at Roswell in New Mexico left a deep impression on you, and we urge you to consult with a physician as soon as possible. Regarding future potential complaints, let it be known that the judicial district of Abiti Abiti PB does not... You know... It's always the... We don't believe in little green men. He's, you know, this is this is why we say fuck the police, all right? Because they don't take people seriously. Okay, so he literally has a tinfoil hat. Weird okay. stuff. Kind of a crossing between a colander and a hair dryer. What was it for? To play telepath? To protect against nuclear waves? Easy putting it together. Don't drink and work, don't drink. <laughs> uh machine came yesterday. Body chair pad. Yeah. Steering. Last when you're twelve, go ahead, break your brother's little bicycle. Okay. Are we gonna be able to fix the snowmobile maybe? That could be fun. These scribblings were undoubtedly the mark of a tormented mind. Something wasn't right in the poor mechanic's head. You know, probably, but like, was it not right? Or was it just, you know, weird shit was happening? Hamilton, I won't be your dog. Okay. Ooh, painkillers? The milk was sorted by color. From the whitest to the greenest, mm. or in other words, from the freshest to the sourest. Close. Perhaps someone was expecting an important call. Mm. In any case, that person's in for a long wait. Carl already noticed that telephone services weren't provided in this area. Headlamp. Headlamps are nice. Uh, anything in the shitter? Couldn't look like it. Following the plan, Carl was led to believe that the snowmobile's parts had to be scattered about in the vicinity. Presumably.
dog wants out to go bark at something. You know. Probably shouldn't encourage that, but whatever. Okay. Alright. I didn't, you know, save myself any cold there, but whatever. Uh, Another worrisome victim of this ice. This one seemingly petrified in action. The poor man, before being frozen solid, seemed to have been defending the entrance to his cabin. But from what? The very first steps of man on the moon were made more than a year ago. The event had surely captivated the mechanic's mind for him to still keep this around. I mean, you know people being on the moon seems like that would be uh, kind of a big deal. Right. Yeah, I wouldn't put the bed in the garage, especially... Oh. <laughs> Buddy. Buddy, were you building a flying saucer? Jesus Christ. Never have too many players. Okay, we got another headlight. He was definitely building a flying saucer. Which like I respect. Ooh, handlebars. Handlebars is good. Uh, trying to see if I can hold off on the vision until... More green milk. Come on. gonna let me read that. The week of October 5th, thought Carl. That was this week. The plug should have been here by now. You mean the plug that was definitely in the mailbox that I checked already? Because I'm... That is a lot of orange juice bottles. All right. There we go. All right. So we're having a vision. We're having a vision. So, okay. So he's over here. And what's he got? Putting shit together. What the shit? Okay, so something happened over there, and, oh, green flame, holding, holding that, okay, fire, up in that bucket. Then. Something very important must have been in there for the man to take such time and effort to hide it, but Carl didn't know how to reach it. Hmm. This is a good question. This is a hard question. The dog wants back. And my vegetables are almost done. All 
Alrighty, and we're back. Sorry about that. Again, this is a weird setup. I kind of hope not to do it anymore. Hmm. Question is, how does... Okay, so I got pliers. Homemade flying saucer. Life never ceases. It's true. So let's see. How would we get up there? Might have to just parkour our way. Or something. Oh! I have hardware. Sheets of metal everywhere. Was Carl out of touch with current home improvement trends? Or perhaps this was meant to protect against residual radiation? Gamma rays? What good was a motorless car? The mechanic sure had an odd way to go about repairing things. he would have to endure this skin stinging cold. Uh, Carl's a little bitch. All right, come on. Uh, pincer, hardware. We're gonna go. Pince. And, yep, we're gonna open that. We're gonna go back inside and warm our ass up. There's any sherry around here. Stealing road signs is good, clean fun. Ooh, are you sherry? Cheap wine doesn't taste better even if it changes in color and size. Uh, but is it sherry? Apparently, he's a rock collector. Yeah. deducted this was a map of the area. Yeah, it looks Were like Were those it. pins pointing to places of interest? Oh, interesting. Inter interesting. Perhaps, perhaps they are. Just 
instantly build a bridge like that. It's very easy. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Crazy. Carl had no idea how to interpret a message like that. On the surface, it seemed like he had one half too many of this puzzle. Enough to know he shouldn't take this testimony as gospel. The entire thing, being some punishment for a murder committed by Hamilton, seemed like an outlandish theory. Carl was doubtful. Okay, so he thinks the Wendigo, or he thought the Wendigo, was an alien, which is fair. I, you know, can't say I really have a better theory. I mean, other than, you know, spirit, which is like kind of a weird thought. That's a lake. Those are logs. I tell you one thing, I would really like to get the flying saucer to work, but that's probably not going to happen. Oop. Anything? plans for the flying saucer then? Because that's what I want to know. I want to know how to make the, the saucer fly, damn it. Oh! Spaceship blueprint. If some daring person could manage to get their hands on the missing parts, Carl was willing to bet that the craft would have taken flight. I mean... and hardware. To all appearances, Carl concluded, the owner of the place had moved more essentials from his house inside the garage. Peculiar man indeed. Indeed. Oh, potatoes. I hadn't noticed those before. Time. Alrighty, and we're back. So, yeah. guys sorry to kind of tease you like this but uh, my girlfriend just got home and I'm gonna call it a day for here right now a day for here right now that was a coherent sentence um, 
so yeah, hopefully, hopefully we're still gonna, you know, finish this game out. I think it's, it's gonna take me slightly longer than I had initially anticipated just cause of who I am as a person. Uh, but, uh, coming soon is gonna be, um, The Long Dark. Uh, I think I'm planning, because there's the new expansion, I'm gonna just do some survival playthroughs on that. Maybe, possibly alternating with this, or maybe I'll, I'll try to finish this and maybe put out a couple of, uh, long darks on like off days or something I don't know uh, you know we'll see we'll see what I have time for but uh, I'm looking forward to doing the long dark I haven't, I haven't played that game in a long time and maybe sometime uh, in the future when uh, oh that's garlic for vampires cool um, Oh, and those are UFOs. The man has a passion for intergalactic things. I Back mean, then, people were obviously scared of the Russian atomic bomb, but an invasion by extraterrestrials was a legit fear as well. Seems like the mechanic had made his choice. Fear of invasion from extraterrestrials is always a legitimate fear. Anyways, uh, what was I saying? Um, so, yeah looking forward to playing the long dark and finishing this out and uh yeah so oh this is uh comrade cryptid uh signing out bye